pandemic and the economy. Investment for the future. A message for the future in response to the public health emergencies. The COVID-19 pandemic emerged as one of the largest public health and economic crises in recent human history. The implementation of public health measures to contain the spread of the virus, including policies or strategies such as lockdown and border closures, tends to limit economic activities. At the beginning of the pandemic, many countries were reluctant to take action towards the rapid containment due to the immediate negative impact on their economy. Is it really bad economically to have lockdown? For example, we often hear phrases like, it is estimated to have this amount or that amount of economic loss due to the lockdown and curfew. Remember, we are in a pandemic, the economic loss caused by containment measures compared to the normal time, as if we do not have a pandemic, does not reflect the actual status of the economy. This leads to the question, what will the economy fallout look like if the pandemic stays with us longer or becomes worse? It is not an imaginary concern. The government of Finland conduced a scenario study which compared three different settings. Strong measures to control COVID-19, the best economic strategy in the long run. Moderate measures to control COVID-19, which will require stronger measures later on to control pandemic. Limited measures to control COVID-19, which will force the government to introduce strong measures to control pandemic. The study revealed that the rate of hospitalization was the key driver for GDP development, not the restrictive measures. In fact, the strong measures to control COVID-19 predicted more economic growth in 2021, followed by the two other scenarios. It means that even though it takes an initial financial loss, controlling infectious disease outbreak will significantly contribute to future economic growth and social stability. Encouraging economic activities during pandemic without sufficiently addressing public health concern does not help or protect your economy. It will rather result in worsening the pandemic, which will lead to the further economic loss. With the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, we have witnessed tremendous social and economic disruption. When it is too late, there is not much we can do to stop the pandemic. When you have the pandemic under control, you can rebuild your economy. For example, the government of Singapore shared that their business community provided feedback that the strict control measures helped to keep COVID-19 under control and consequently enabled businesses to resume operations. Singapore announced circuit breaker when the numbers of daily cases were 55 a day as seven days average. The early takeaway from the outbreak indicates that focusing on timely and effective public health intervention is the key to have the pandemic under control. Don't hesitate because of the financial loss related to the containment measures. Managing and controlling the spread of the virus at the onset of the disease outbreak also serves as the best economic strategy.